Well, let's look at a couple bikes. Everything needs a lot of work. Nothing's done. This is a 29-101 Scout. It was a well a death bike at one time in its history. You know, I'm just uh, bringing it back from the dead like all of them. That's not the stock seat, but that's the seat that it came with. And there is a running motor once uh, we get the exhaust on it. Lots of work left. Plenty of work. Using that one bitch and cool shift knob. Now this 101's been set up with a 30s era oil pump to recircle the recirculate the oil. We just have to plumb the tanks. And we're ready to go on that guy. Needs a rear stand hinge. These little 101s are 45 cubic inch, 750 cc, and a lot of fun. Don't discount them just because they're 750 cc. They also made them in a 31 cubic inch, about a 500 cc bike. A lot of fun. And this is a 1940 BMW R12 World War II bike. Came out of Latvia after the wall came down in 90 a lot of these old bikes surfaced this one was driven by a farmer after the war I don't know if you can see but it's got the old Cyrillic writing on the tires this one is runs and rides it just looks like hell it's got an interesting data plate. Has something to do with radio interference. This bike I redid the top end and valves and rebuilt two magnetos for it. The magnetos I sent to a place and very expensive um, they make a power dynamo mag that's uh, a replacement for them that'd be the way to go if you want to ride these things every day without having to worry about the electrical going south on you and a paint scheme it's got that Africa core tan and some green and surprisingly if you take the fender off you can see you can see uh, gray, that Luftwaffe gray. Here's the gas cap. Mileage. It's called a drillastic seat, if I'm correct. It's like a hard plastic seat. This is really a fun old bike. You've got a BMW emblem. That guy, pretty hammered. Nineteen forty BMW R twelve. And there's the shift gate. This one is missing the horn. Somebody robbed the horn off of it in its history. You can see that's where it would have gone, right there. And somebody robbed an emblem off of it. And there's the paint scheme again. Very strange. And 
This is a 1940s BMW R35. This is a bastard. It came with the other, came with R12. Same location. This one, people don't like these EMW bikes, but this is a BMW EMW. And I truthfully don't know what it really is. It's got a a later BMW rear wheel on it. I have the original. I just gotta fix it and set it up. This one there's some new BMW emblems I put on there. And there's a shifter. It would have a shift gate like the R12, but uh, the shifter's bent, so it's got to be straightened to accommodate the shift gate. And uh, people that know these bikes tell me that that's not the right headlight and that's not the right uh, handlebars. dog that likes to never shut up. There's the BMW cap. That seat, another Jurassic, really hammered. Take a little far away look at it. Pretty cool. It's a little, it's a fun little bike and it's very lightweight. Lightweight like a 101. A lot of fun. Don't discount them. Just a little small 350cc bike, but a lot of fun. Man, here's a 36 Harley. This is a 1936 knucklehead. This is an early 36 knucklehead. It's got the step cam cover. Take a look here. Step cam cover, that's the real deal. This is a really neat old bike. It's not finished. Needs a lot of work. As far as I know, that's an original paint fender. That's an original paint set of tanks, and that's an original paint rear fender off of probably three different bikes. Maybe, maybe just, maybe just the tanks uh, were genuine to this 36. Isn't that a beauty? That's the air cover, air carb cover, whatever you want to call it. So if a bike tipped over, that was the first thing to go was that carb cover. And there's the 36 oil bag. I believe this is a late one. Some features there. There's the little hockey puck. And there's the, the really oddball oil pump. Needs the cable for the dash. Or you can put that little gauge on it. I think the gauge is the way to go if you want to ride it every day. There's a neat old square toolbox. Here's a rear stay. Walking around this old bastard. And I've got the glass for this thing. Just gotta hook it up. Bike needs a lot of work. Now the seat, it's a 36 seat, but somebody a long time ago uh, redid it with foam, and of course that's all just worn off. Rear axle stay. There's the really weird rear 36 brake assembly. Those are really sought after. That's just a one year only, like most of this bike. I'm not even I'm not even a uh, an expert on anything, especially 36 bikes. And there's that prototype rear fender. Now I just put this uh, belt drive on here because I'm just used to riding the knuckles with the belts. Uh, I have the the original assembly. I'll I'll go back to that later. Is that neat square foot board Harley Davidson? Don't get better than that. There's a the head. Got some angry dogs today. You can see there's the the early tens. They call them baby jars. And this one's got a primer cup on it. Isn't that weird? You can open that up and spray some gas in there. Once again, this bike needs tons of work. It's not done. It's a lot of fun, though. Took forever to get it to run right. Look at that. It's that dice shifter knob. 
and there's a really old 36 only shift gate pretty cool now this is the super rare 100 mile an hour speedometer little barn logo barn shield they call it right and I've got a military switch on it just because the original switch didn't seem to work oil pressure gauge amp gauge steering dampener and there's that oddball horn that's just 36 to 39 and there's those zerks they point forward, they're the early, early 36 to 39, I believe. It's a neat old bike, isn't it? Needs a lot of work. I'm sure people want to beat up on me for this one. But it is a neat bike. And it runs, just the battery's dead. What else can we show you? Here's it says cycle ray headlamp guide. You can see that. Pan away from this old bad boy. I'll do another video and we'll fire him up for you. Get a kick out of them. A lot of fun. Yeah, you can see that this is a later oil tank, 36, late 36, I believe they're called. There's a Ponton Benz, that's a 60. They're fun cars. And there is a 59 diesel model. And this is a... This is a 37 Chief basket I got. I've got everything for it. I just need a gas tank and... Uh, I think we need a switch for the... For the instrument panel. It's all there. My buddy Charlie's going to do the motor. <laughs> He's an expert at everything. Okay. Let's see what else we could show you. Show you. Now, once again, these bikes are, they all need attention. There's the 36. That, the R12 is really a blast. I, I hate to say it, that's probably my favorite. The 101s are, are a real blast. Man, they have just gone through the roof lately, though. And the prices on these 101s are just are silly. I'm really thankful there's folks that are doing all uh, repro parts for them now. And let's see if we can take a look at some other stuff. That's a 1915 Harley-Davidson. Just see the Harley Davidson on the tank. Isn't that bitchin' cool? And there's a speedometer. Man, dirty stuff, huh? That's called a Corbin speedometer. There's a horn. And that is what folks call a Presto Light tank. Of course, that one doesn't, it's not set up to work. And there's the Presto Light headlight. Pretty neat, huh? The engine, a fellow named Mike Lang rebuilt the power plant for me. He's a really sharp guy. He knows everything about these early bikes. And he did a first class job on it. I just haven't, haven't fired it up yet. And I think that's called an old soul tail light. Look at that hinge. Isn't that hinge cool? And there's some coker tires. Sure, I'm glad those folks make tires. You'd be screwed otherwise. Now, 15 is the first year for a pedal start. 
so you pedal start it like you had a bicycle. 16 was the first year for kickstarting them. And if I'm correct, 15 is also the first year for this style air, oh, oil pump. And you know, the rubber footboards that once said Harley Davidson have worn off. That is a, a really neat, fun bike, but they're so weird to drive because the handlebars are so damn wide. Okay, there's the 15. Here's a Indian 4. Here's a million dollar bike. When it, I'm in the middle of doing the motor, it's just taking forever. Let's see, you can see it's still got the original paint on it. Here's a collection of Indian footboards. I guess everybody's got an Indian 4 in their living room, huh? I got really lucky to find this one. A really good friend of mine named Mike back in New Jersey found this and sold it to me many years ago. And there's a little bear. He's keeping it uh, guarded. Farberite, that means in service. But this is not in service. So nicked Farberite. Not in service. That's from a, a German World War II uh, motorcycle motor pool and there's the 1930 Indian 4 like I said I got the engine I got basically everything for this one too and some some World War II optics I collect helmets and that kind of weird stuff and there it is there's the 4 oh let's look at the tank again there's an original paint Tank, is that cool? Of course, this guy needs a lot of work too. The headlight, I am not 100% certain, is authentic to this bike. It may be a knockoff that somebody put on there at some time in history. Okay. All the cool people, of course, keep their motorcycles in the living room. Ponton, Kodiak. Okay, there's the fleet, and there's a few of them. I'll bring out the rest of them later. Show them to you. Flanders, Airedale Terrier, Snoopy, Foster Dog. They're gonna execute his ass. I saved him. Kursk, foster dog. They're gonna execute his ass too. I saved him. So those two guys are up for adoption. The other guys I'm keeping. All right, gang. I'm looking for a Zundop World War II motorcycle, a KS750 or a KS600 series bike. And that's uh, that's today's fleet. Here's a Suzuki that's off in the distance. I'm fixing. They're bulletproof too. They're just I mean any idiot can work on them. All right, gang. There it is. Hope you like it. Hope you. Have. And just remember everything I'm working on. So nothing's quite finished. Cost a fortune to fix stuff, especially if you do everything yourself. It's all fun. Give me a nice comment. Don't be mean. Catch you later.